Hello, my name is Eric Costlin. I'm a technical marketing engineer at Cisco Systems, and I would like to discuss and demonstrate the Cisco Threat Intelligence Director. Enterprises no longer want to rely on their security product vendors to be the sole sources of cyber threat intelligence. We are seeing many third parties provide feeds of cyber threat intelligence. This presents two challenges. The first is to standardize the exchange of cyber threat intelligence information. And the second is to simplify the operationalization of cyber threat intelligence information. So let's talk about that first challenge. Structured Threat Information Expression, or STICS, is becoming the standard for describing threats. This is an XML-based language designed to convey the description of the threat itself. Let's just focus on the components relevant to what we're discussing today. That is the indicator. The indicator is the definition of the threat inside the STIX file. Observables are the specific things that firewalls can observe that can help determine whether the criteria of the indicator have been met. And an incident is what is generated if it is determined that the criteria of the indicator have been met. Trusted Automated Exchange of Indicator Information, or TAXI, has become the standard for communicating STIX files. Hence, it's become the standard for communicating cyber threat information. Now let's discuss operationalization of that information. The Cisco Threat Intelligence Director lives within the Firepower Management Center, which is the off-box manager for our next-generation firewalls and next-generation IPS. The CTID ingests the STIX files, typically through a taxi feed. It parses those files and publishes observables, essentially instructing the firewalls on what to look for. If the firewall observes an observable, it reports back to the Cisco Threat Intelligence Director, which performs the necessary logic of the indicator to determine whether the criteria for the indicator have been satisfied. Let's move on to the demonstration. Here you see the Firewall Management Center, and let's go to the Intelligence tab and to Settings. We can see that the Cyber Threat Intelligence Director is enabled. Let's look at the elements. These are actually the sensors or next generation firewalls. And we see that we do have an element. Let's add a feed. There are three delivery methods. Let's first start with a URL. We're simply going to download a file from a URL. This could be a STIX file or a flat file. In our case, it will be a STIX file. And here is the URL. Let's give this object a name. And notice that the action is grayed out because you can only monitor in the case of a STIX feed. Let's look at the indicators. And we see that there was an indicator in the STIX file called Weatherman PUA. This is a complex indicator consisting of an IP address and one of two hashes. Let's look at the observables. There are three observables, the two hashes, and the IP address. This is what is published to the firewall. Let's add another feed. In this case, we're going to add a feed simply by uploading a file. Again, that could be a STIX or a flat file. In this case, let's just upload a list of URLs. Note that the action is not grayed out, and we can set it to block. Notice that there are two additional indicators, one for each URL in the list, and each of these indicators represents an additional observable. Now let's add a taxi feed. I'm going to use Alien Vault for the taxi feed. 
Here is the discovery URL. I'll use my Alien Vault login and the API key provided by Alien Vault for my account as a password. And you can see that we're discovering a taxi feed. And we will use that taxi feed. Notice that we have many indicators now and many observables that we are receiving and parsing from that taxi feed. Now to make this presentation complete, let's actually generate a couple incidents. So I'm going to start with that complex indicator that was a combination of an IP address and a couple hashes. Since it was set to monitor, I'm allowed to download the file. But remember the URLs? Those were set to block. So when I try to go to one of those URLs, it is blocked. And the CTID returns a 403 forbidden HTTP response code so that we'll get a nice effect in the browser. Here we see the two incidents that we've generated. And let's look at the complex indicator since that's the more interesting. We see that we observe an IP address and one of the two hashes specified in the indicator. And hence, we generated the incident. Thank you very much for your time.